So this is a really flawed way of thinking about anything in the world, right? You giving business advice to an accountant, the world's gone mad, right? Now look at any successful person in sports or business, and most of them have had a coach, a mentor, or people who have helped them with being able to achieve their results, right? The idea here is that in any profession, your ability to grow comes down to making mistakes yourself or learning from other people who have made the mistakes before you or have a proven pathway to get the results that you want. Now, the common thing that I see, because I work with a lot of professional services, uh, business owners and experts, but they be business coaches, uh, financial coaches, financial advisors, mortgage brokers, accountants, and I personally invest multiple six figures every single year in my own personal and professional development and have spent over seven figures on uh, my own personal development over the course of the last 15 years of my business career, is that... As individuals, particularly when we are in a helping profession, we can get so caught up in helping everybody else solve their problems that we can often fail to prioritize our own interest. So the reason why I seek advice is because I want to be held accountable. I want to ensure that somebody holds the space for me to be able to solve the problems that need to be solved, that can give me an external perspective and can give me clarity and direction around what I need to do so I don't need to work it out for myself. And this is the exact same reason why so many other professional services providers seek us out to play that particular role. They run fantastic businesses. Um, Danny is a, a partner in a publicly listed accounting firm. Uh, if you go and do some research, you'll be able to find how successful that business is. Uh, for a lot of our clients, they run very successful seven, eight figure businesses, right? But they want somebody in their corner who can help them either uh, add more skill sets that they don't have to their, their current uh, toolkit. People don't know everything, right? There is always more you can learn. Uh, even if it is in the same industry, in the same space, there are different ways of doing things and different ways of looking at those things in order to elevate the quality of your results. Two, they want pragmatic, external, unbiased opinions around the strategy for them to get from where they are to the where they wanna go. You're not always the best person to create your own plan because you sometimes look at your own situation through rose-tinted glasses, right? As the saying goes, don't be the plumber with the leaky taps. And it's often the case, right? Because you don't prioritize yourself first and you don't give yourself the same advice that you give everybody else. And thirdly, everyone needs accountability, right? Uh, to taking action, to moving forward. So the idea here is that we focus on rising tides, lifting all ships. And as doing so, we're able to elevate the quality of our results. Now, if you go through life not wanting to seek advice from other people because you believe that you're better than them or you have this expectation that certain individuals uh, should know everything, then you are drastically going to limit, it, limit the quality of your results in life and in business. The key to life and success in life and business is being a lifelong student, no matter how much water's under the bridge, no matter how much experience you've got, because arrogance will be your downfall. I wish you all the best and hopefully this changes your perspective.